Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when Raila Amolo Dinga called for the mass action on Monday, Ruto thought that it's going to be a joke. But then, after the mass action, Ruto has been reported in the international media, as we are speaking now, on two things. Number one, how he has handled Raila Amolo Odinga, in fact, mishandled Raila Amolo Odinga in this protest. Number two, how Ruto is mishandling hungry Kenyans who are protesting because of high cost of living in this country. And that already it has given William Ruto a name and his image, it is now being tainted internationally. I want us to go through how the international media is sharing the event that happened during the protest. CNN, this is how, how they reported. Kenya opposition leader calls for weekly protest after being tear by police. Look at that. You can see they shared a photo of police officers throwing tear gas. You can see a Kenyan police officer fired tear gas at protesters in Nairobi, Kenya on Monday. Kenyan opposition leader and the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga has called for weekly in national wide protest against the high cost of living in a brief address to demonstrators flanking his motorcade in Nairobi Monday, moment before police fired tear gas and a water cannon at his car as they block his supporters. You can see they're reporting what police officers are doing <laughs> and uh, what has pro prompted Raila Amolo Dinga to even call for more uh, demonstration on every Monday. So this is how those who are going to read the news in CNN and other platform, they are going to view William Ruto and his government. When he get outside there, that's how people own. We get tear gas. This is the person who was throwing tear gas at hungry Kenyans who are demonstrating. That is the image of William Ruto six months to the office. Go to Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera English. Kenyan police fired tear gas and water cannons to disperse protesters in Nairobi after opposition leader Raila Odinga called for protest against the rising cost of living and what he called the stolen election he lost in 2022. The first thing they are reporting is rising cost of living. So a president giving an order to police officer to throw tear gas, canister, you know, water canister, to protesters who are raising their voice against rising cost of living. This is the image William Ruto has made for himself when he go to Qatar, when he go to, let's say, Gulf countries, when he go to any other country outside, because Al Jazeera is international media. So that's how they're going to view him. Anyway, he get outside. Who you your president, Alikwana Rushia, what tear gas, Babuana, demonstrate because of hunger. That is a name he's creating for himself. And you can see they have shared the images of police officers, tear gas, water cannons, and the opposition protests. Another one, BBC News Swahili. Kwa picha, tazama jinsi polisi wanavyo kabiliana na maandamano katika ngome ya Raila Odinga Kibera, Kenya. You can see really how they are, they are throwing the canisters there. So it gives an image of a president who is failing to contain the situation in the country using the proper technicals, technicality and logic way of sorting out the problem. That's William Ruto making an image for himself. Those who are in the BBC, they are going to see what Ruto is doing. But if you read the one in CNN, I think CNN just got it correctly. Voice of Africa. Kenyan opposition supporters clash with police. 
at the headline, protesters shout at police as they demonstrate in the Kibera slum of Nairobi, Kenya, March 20, 2023. They can't go to other areas, but you can see that is the image in Kenya telling on how governance is happening. Sky News, this is what they are reporting. Police fire tear gas to disperse anti-government protesters in Nairobi. That's the headline. Thousands have had have heeded the call for nationwide protest by opposition leader Raila Odinga, who claimed that Kenyans' last election was stolen. For them, they only focus on the election. And if people are turning out in their numbers, then it is a message they are sending out that indeed there are many people in this country who believe that election was stolen. And now the people who are trying to condemn the situation, it is police officer who seemingly at one point they have been defeated now, they have to just use tear gas. That is forceful to contain the situation in the country. You go to another one, independent. Arrest, arrest as Kenyan opposition leader anti government protests. At least three Kenyan legislators and several protesters have been arrested in ongoing protest in Kenyan capital. Nairobi, Nairobi, organized by the opposition demanding the resignation of President William Ruto. You can see they captured images of protesters. <laughs> so it tells you what people are going to read after the BBC News. Kenya protest Raila Odinga's convoy tear gassed in Nairobi. Opposition supporters are demanding the resignation of the president. Kenyan police tear gas opposition leader. That is the image. You can see a lady there crying with the, of course, a poster. That poster is written, High Cost of Living. It is not finished. DW Live TV. Arrest made in anti-government protest. Nairobi police sought to disperse the demonstrators protesting the cost of living crisis as well as accusing President Ruto of stealing last year's election. Authorities arrest several protesters, including two lawmakers. I'm telling you, there are many we cannot finish all of them, but that's what we can read here. So you can see that is the information national international media is reporting to the world. So you can see largely they are reporting a president who is who is giving an order to police officer to tear gas hungry Kenyans who are demonstrating. Yani wewe ni mtoto unalilia baba yako kwamba uko njaa. Instead of giving you food your father give you stone. That is William Ruto for you. A God fearing president according to those who believe that he is a God sent president. So a president who give Kenyan stones instead of giving food when they are hungry. So I think William Ruto image is going to taint when he was going outside no one knew more about him because he was still new. But then anytime Ruto will get out of Kenya to any other country the first impression they will have a president who was tear gassing hungry Kenyans a president who stole an election a president who decided to tear gas the opposition rather than tolerating Tolerance has lacked in William Ruto. He got an accent of even using police officer to damage the vehicles of the opposition leader. A man who don't know how to handle the opposition in a democratic way. That's the message that is going outside. So that much democracy that we've been talking about Kenya, then it is going to be seen as we have someone in the office who's trying every means possible 
to curtail the democracy in Kenya. So Ruto has made a name for himself. Now, at one point or another, remember, investors also are reading this story. Those who are investing in Kenya, they will go such stories. And you see, this is how a president is handled situation in the country. Police officers bringing KO rather than citizens who are demonstrating. So you see peaceful demonstrators against police officers who are so much chaotic in the country. Tell me what they are going to conclude. Will they come to invest in Kenya? The answer is no. So that is the image of William Samuel Ruto. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section to continue this conversation. But again, please consider subscribing to this channel and if possible, share out our videos to other platforms.